There is no clear cut point of demarcation between the end of the genome and the start of the ileum. What follows are the general features that use to differentiate the genome from the ileum. The first point is that the coils of the genome are located in the upper part of the abdominal cavity on the left side, while the ileal coils are located lower down to the right and in the pelvis. The second point is that the attachment of the mesentery of the giganum lies to the left of the aorta. Here is the aorta, and here is the line of attachment of the mesentery of the giganum, while the mesentery of the ileum is attached to the right of the aorta and below the giganal attachment. The third point is that the mesenteric blood vessels of the giganum has only one or two arcades with long vasa recta, while the blood vessels of the ileum have three to five arcades with short vasa recta. Another point is that the giginal mesentery contains less fats, while the ileal mesentery contains more fat that extends up to the mesenteric border. On the wall of the ileum, there are aggregation of lymphoid tissue that are called the pears patches. In the living intestine, this can be seen through the wall of the ileum. Those pears patches are absent on the giganum. Unfortunately, those cannot be seen on the cadaveric specimens. The last point to differentiate between the giganum and the ileum is that the giganum is thicker walled and wider pored than the ileum. If you try to fill the giganal wall and you compare it with the ileal wall, you will feel that the giganum is like a double false that of the ileum. This is because the presence of the mucosal folds called the plaque circularis. Those mucosal folds are more in number and closely set in the giganum while they are became less in number when going downward and they are completely absent in the distal ileum. The end of the ileum and the beginning of the cecum is marked by the presence of the ileocecal junction, which is guarded by the ileocecal valve. You can appreciate the presence of the ileocecal valve by palpating the ileocecal junction, or you can inspect the inside of the cecum to see the ileocecal valve.